So this is the carp map that I caught that uh, river mirror on last night and you can see it's still all uh, wet from last night's action. That is part digested crushed mussel shells that's passed through the carp so we've got a bit of mussel poo here. So that's clear evidence that these wild fish are feeding on zebra mussels. Yeah, They're, they're going to eat basically anything, any protein source that they can get hold of. So the plan for today is to get some extra mussel attraction into the style of fishing that I'm doing. So I'm using the Scopex squid which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the uh, mussel blend liquid, I'm going to make up some PVA sticks and I'm going to use a mix of some flake uh, which is just crumb boily and then get a load of breadcrumb in there and that breadcrumb is going to soak up this mussel flavour and the scopex flavour as well and create a really kind of compact potent signal of attraction which is hopefully going to draw those river carp in and get us a few bites. So the flake is you know, it's got some got some bits in it and you can either use it like this or if you want to uh, kind of make it all make it all fine I can blend a bit up so I'm just going to take some of this flake I'm going to add it to these break bones. so there we go a bit of flake a bit of crumb you know still a few bits in there but that'll make some lovely uh, lovely sticks so to make up a stick mix I could just add some scopex squid syrup that's one option but what I want to do is I want to make it to uh, make it more muscly because that's what they're on at the moment. The first time you're using this, right? Yeah, it's the first time I'm using this. So it'll be really interesting. I understand that it stinks to my oven. If I do it like that, when I put the top on, there's far more chance of me not having a leak if the pot falls over. You can see it's actually separated because I've had it on the shelf for a bit. So sealing technique where it works really quite well. Actually. It's pot it's potent. It's not evil. No, it's nice. It's I, know, I wouldn't eat it, but this is absolutely what it says on the tin. Just blended muscle. Wow. Right, let's have a go with that. I want these to be more muscle flavoured than uh, than Scopex dominant. And just put colour of it. Yeah. <laughs> just when you can kind of smooth it out like that, then you know it's it's thick enough, stiff enough for a stick mix. Is it PVA friendly? Uh, don't know. Soon going to find out. Right. So an answer to your question: Is it PVA friendly? Not really good enough to say I don't know, is it? Let's get some PVA tape. I'm just going to literally dunk this in the muscle pot. And yeah. Uh, no. No, that is not PVA friendly. So dipping dipping a PVA stick in this stuff would be a really bad idea. So this stuff is fresh produce. So if I was going to go again this week, I'd just stick it in the fridge, but um, it's probably going to be a week or so before I'm going to go again. So I'm just going to stick it straight in the freezer, and then all I've got to do is take it out 24 hours before I go, and uh, it'll be defrost ready to make up my next mix. If I've got any of this mix left over, then I'm just going to bung it straight in the freezer as well, so that's not going to be a problem. So as we've just seen, that muscle blend is not PVA friendly. Well, the breadcrumb has dried that mix off tremendously anyway. This is just some crushed Himalayan rock salt. You can use regular salt, whatever you've got to hand. But whenever you put salt or sugar into a PVA mix, it'll help it, yeah, you know, it'll help make it PVA friendly. So this is just a, this is a nice kick of attraction anyway. Right, let's knock up some PVA sticks. Because I'm only fishing at close range, I mean I'm literally only lobbing them 10-15 yards out, something like that. I can use, make a nice, nice big stick. I'd normally use the 37mm for uh, this type of work, but there we go. The other option of course would have been to um, do a mix 
with some Mossel Blend and some of the uh, Scopex Squid Syrup, which is PVA friendly. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Mossel Blend sticks and probably I'll probably dip them in some Scopex Syrup just before I lob them out. That'll slow the breakdown time a bit anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'd like to do nine, but I haven't got enough, so. Well, it's a pretty little one to start. And this one has ripped off five minutes after I lobbed it out, basically. Quite typical of the river, this little one. Stocky, powerful, little common. And uh, went like a stabbed rat. Absolutely fantastic fun. Just that goes to show the incredible pulling power of those little uh, mussel sticks I've made up with a bit of Scopex squid, dipped in a bit of Scopex syrup as well. I didn't even bait up, I baited up yesterday obviously before I got here, but basically rocked up, lobbed it out, five minutes later, we're in. Right, let's get him back. Oh, this one has absolutely melted off. My first proper take of the, uh, the session. A real ripper. Well, I still haven't calmed down from that one. <laughs> the buzz is real. <laughs> what an absolute corker. Yeah, really ripped off. Powerful, powerful take. It was across the other side, but I really, by the time I really kind of uh, lifted, uh, lifted into it properly, and I, I was only a few feet behind the rod, so uh, yeah, mental really, but uh, fantastic. You've got to put the effort in on the river. It doesn't always end in success, but my god when it does. What a buzz. Ali. Bravo. Yeah baby. <laughs> well, it's an absolute banger this one. 22.8. Yeah. Take them on a 24 mil Scopex squid salted. Little PVA stick with that muscle there. Uh, that muscle booster. Happy days. I can't stop smiling. That's my third 30 on the bounce. 32 8, 33 8, 34 8 in, uh, in two evenings of trying. And um, yeah, it doesn't get better than that really. Absolute ripper of a take. Dragged me down 40 metres down the, down the towpath. I ended up in, uh, in Alexandra's swim and uh, absolutely bonkers. He wouldn't stop. So, um, but yeah, all went well, all held well. He tried to do me in the nearby snags as they often do. So, uh, bloody lovely.